Hello, this video is about oncolytic virotherapy. We will take you through what it is and how viruses can be used to treat cancer. So, what is a virus? Well, a virus is a tiny organism that can only reproduce inside a host cell. They bind with the host cell in a lock and key model, then penetrate the cell surface membrane. Once inside, they grow, and when they multiply, they cause the cell to burst, releasing the viruses to bind with other cells. They cause certain illnesses in humans, such as flu, common colds, and HIV. A virus is very, very small, making them extremely difficult to isolate and study. Let's look a bit at the history of virology. Viruses were first recognised in the 1800s, and since the mid-1800s it has been noticed that cancer patients with a non-related viral illness experienced a reduction in the size of their tumour. Since the 50s, many tests and trials have been conducted. From these trials it has become clear that genetically engineered viruses will be needed, so that they only destroy the cancerous cells, not normal cells, and are not destroyed by the human immune system before they have had a chance to work. This is what is being studied today. So how does the virus destroy the cancerous cells? Adenovirus is a virus that is a common cause of coughs and colds. It is commonly used for this kind of cancer treatment, so let's use it as an example. The virus has certain proteins on its surface that act as the keys for binding. Certain cells have certain receptors, these are the locks. Normal cells have readily expressed receptors, called CAR receptors, to which the adenovirus readily binds. However, these receptors are much less common on cancerous cells, therefore there is much less binding to the cancerous cells than to the normal cells. In order to reverse this, scientists found an alternative receptor on the cancerous cells. The adenovirus was then modified so that it made a different key that would fit into the new lock. This means that the virus now attacks the cancerous cells, leaving the normal cells unharmed. So where now? Now that such an important leap has been made, there are many exciting possibilities. For example, it has been found that the use of ultrasound can improve the distribution of the virus, and also it is hoped that in the future, viruses will be used in a cancer vaccine. I hope this was instructive. Thanks for watching.